Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to convert an HTML to PDF using Power Automate. But before we build our flow, let's look at a practical use case. On your screen, you see a SharePoint list. The SharePoint list has few columns. The use case would be when somebody fills in this list, automatically an invoice is generated and is stored in a document library. The invoice will be an HTML template which will look like this. Now you don't need to worry about the code behind it because I'm going to give you the code or I'm going to leave a link to the code in the description section below. So first things first, I'll copy this and I'll keep it handy on my clipboard. I'll go back into Power Automate and I'll create an automated flow. The automated flow, I'll give it a name. I'll say invoice from HTML and I'll select the trigger when an item is created or when it's modified. So what it will do whenever an item is created, it will trigger or when an item is modified, it will trigger. I will select the location of my list. Next, I'm going to add a compose action. It will act as a placeholder for a HTML or the HTML template that I just copied onto my clipboard. And here I will replace few static content with the dynamic values. So let me quickly show you the HTML out here. So for example, I want to change the invoice. I want to change the created date. I want to change the name of the customer. I want to change the email addresses. And I also want to change the pricing. And finally, I want to calculate the pricing and update it in my invoice. Right, so let's get back into the Power Automate and let's quickly start filling the details. So these details will be returned by SharePoint. So I'll just change hash one, two, three with the invoice number created with the created date, the name with the full name, the email with the email, the check number with the check number, and finally the pricing with the pricing. So let me quickly so PDF converter price and PDF professional price. I also want to sum up the pricing up here, leave the dollar sign. And what I can do is I can click on expression and I can pass in the two numbers, right? So PDF converter price comma PDF professional price. And this formula is added out here. Now that we have our HTML template filled up. I'll rename this HTML template and I'll minimize this. Next is where the real magic happens. I'm going to use the Mohimbi converter or the Mohimbi connector to convert HTML to PDF. The Mohimbi action supports modern JavaScript as well as CSS. So you get perfect looking templates. Now that the template is created, I'll create the file in a SharePoint document library. So I'll say create, create file. I'll select the folder, select the folder path and I'll store it in invoices. I'll give the invoice some dynamic name. So let's say invoice number underscore, maybe the full name of the customer and I'll say dot PDF. And here my friends, I'm going to pass in the processed file content, which is the output of the convert HTML to PDF action. So that's pretty much it. We have created a power automate solution to convert HTML to PDF using the Mohimbi connector. So time to test our flow. So I'll click on manual. I'll go back into the list and fill in the details. I'll put the invoice number as one, two, three, four, five. I'll put in Clavin Fernandez out here. I'll put in my email address, clavin.fernandez at the rate mohimbi.com. I'll put in the check number. I'll put in the price. Let's say it's 500 and this is 500 and I'll click on save. So once this is being saved, it should trigger a Power Automate. As you, as you see, it's already running. So it triggered the flow and the flow has completed successfully. So if I go back into my invoices, you see the name of the invoice is here and I also see my name appended to it. I'll open it in a browser and this is how the invoice looks like. Isn't that awesome? 
And if you see, the price is correct, my email address is correct. Yes, there's something that we can change with reference to created. That means the date is not coming as expected. So let's fix that as well. So I'll go back into my flow and let's fix the date. So I'll go into my HTML again and let me fix the date. So create a date, we need to fix this. So what I'll do is I'll say format date time. So here I want to pass in a date that would be the created one. So create a date, so create it. And then I will change it and I'll change the format to capital D. So let me run it again. And let's see if we get correct format for the date. And let me refresh my SharePoint and let me actually open the file. You see, now it gives me correct date. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you and bye-bye. <laughs>